Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Zara accessories haul. I have just finished filming my Zara fashion haul, so if you'd like to watch that, then that'll be linked below. But like I've mentioned in that haul, I've done a massive, massive Zara shop. Most of it was clothes, but I've still got a lot of accessories, so I separated it into two different videos, and I haven't actually seen what I've got accessories wise. So it is also an unboxing. So I've got this huge box, which is almost full up of accessories and shoes. So I'm just gonna delve in and show you what I got. Oh, okay, this is lovely. This is actually even nicer than I thought it was going to be. It is this gorgeous gray and white striped scarf. Oh, I like that a lot. Size medium, I presume I didn't choose size medium. I presume accessories just say medium on them anyway. Um, it was £19.99 and oh it's so soft and big and oh yeah, oh yeah I like that, I'm happy with that. That will be so nice with like a leather jacket or a big coat, um, yeah really really like that for £19.99, that was a good find. I didn't expect it to be quite so soft either, I thought it might have been because it had this cut edge. I thought it might be in that fabric-y material rather than a soft knitted material, but that is gorgeous. Okay, bear with me, I've just popped this leather jacket on just so that I can try this scarf on just with a jacket as well, otherwise it would look a bit silly. But um, yeah, I like, it's gorgeous, really really nice, big, fluffy, soft, um, yeah, really really nice scarf a bag, oh it's in a nice dust bag as well, lovely, okay nice, I like, special price, 19 .99. that is a pretty special price, um, so yeah I really really like this, this is lovely, okay so it's got like a little handle like that, I uh, see I was sold with the ring because I thought it made it look really kind of like the Chloe sort of style at the moment that's got rings and everything. But yeah, so it's got a little, I'm sure it'll look better when it's got stuff inside it as well. Everything always looks better when it's full, doesn't it? So inside it's got this second layer, um, which is just like a really gorgeous, I love that colour. Really, really lovely second layer. And another handle. I mean, for £20, you are getting a lot of bag for your money, aren't you? Obviously it's not leather, but I still think that's just a really lovely everyday bag. I like, I'm impressed with that, that's really really nice actually isn't it? And I really like the fact that it's got this second layer inside it, so it's just kind of like a little drawstring bag layer inside just to keep everything nice and neat and protect the inside of the bag I guess. But yeah, I like that. We'll try it on though, I think it will obviously look better with stuff inside it so it's sort of padded out a little bit more. But as it stands, I'm impressed with that. So I am loving this bag, now I've stuffed it with a little bit of um, stuffing just temporarily. I really like it, I think it looks really nice when it's full. Love this little gold ring and yeah it's just a nice shape. Um, sits nicely across the body and yeah it's a good bag. I like it. For £20 I think this is a bargain. Get ordering girls. It's not too big, not too small. Really really great sort of autumn winter bag. So yeah loving this. Okay the next item is, again, going with the grey theme, this beanie hat. Yeah, size medium, so they must just put that on all their accessories. Yeah, I like this, feels super, super soft. It's size medium, it was £9.99, and I mean, I know it's too hot for wintry hats just yet, but I don't know why I'm trying it on right now. I'll try it on properly in a minute, actually. It's never going to look right, I can't see what it looks like. But yeah, I know it's too hot for hats just yet, but that weather, that temperature will be dropping very, very soon and I will be needing this, so you can't go wrong with a nice soft grey beanie hat, woolly hat. Oh, I feel like a trussed up old snowman. Right, I mean, it's hot, bear with me, but yeah, this is the woolly hat on. I'm not really sure if that's how it's supposed to look, but it feels nice, it feels super soft, nice colour, and maybe, I don't know, is it a bit long? Is that meant to be further down? I'm not too sure. 
I might have to try it on with an outfit when I'm all ready to go out. And you kind of don't, when it's this, when it's like still kind of summer, it feels a bit weird putting on a woolly hat. So, yeah, not too sure. But that's that. Okay, the next thing is, again, grey. It is this, I don't know what you call these, like, yeah, like a headband, I guess. Like a wintry headband um, that goes, I mean, I'll show it on in a minute. But yeah, I like that. It's kind of like a sort of knitted wide headband that kind of sits around there and sometimes in the winter when you want something to keep I've got really really sensitive ears so I need to keep my ears covered at all times when it's cold and windy so when you want something to go over your ears but you don't really want a big bobble hat on then they're really handy in the oh yeah nice one Zara nice one I've got your security tag fantastic how am I supposed to wear that then? With that sticking out the back. Come on, Zara. I mean, I know it was hidden, but... Nah. That's annoying, isn't it? Well, it looks like that's going back then. God, this isn't easy. I'm, I'm making this look so hard, aren't I? Please just bear with the messy hair, because what with the tag and the security tag, I, um... I can't sort it all out, but I think this is quite cute. I quite like it. It does the job. It's a nice sort of dark grey, which I quite like. I think it's quite pretty. I think it's the sort of thing I'd probably get quite a lot of wear out of once I sorted out the top bit of my hair. I mean, 9 99 I suppose, is a bit more pricey for something like this. Um, I know you can pick them up for a few pounds in Primark, New Look or whatever, but it is a nice quality one and it's really soft and yeah. I think I'll probably end up keeping this. No, I won't. I'll have to send it back and get Zara to remove the security tag and then maybe send me another one. Ah, oh, dear. But yeah, let's get this blooming scarf off. Whew. Okay, let's go and prepare a shoes, shall we? Let's go and prepare a shoes. Nicely wrapped. I've seen what ones these are from the little picture. These. Ah, oh, well I hope they're as nice as they look from the picture. Oh yeah, they are. They are awesome. They are really, really nice. They look quite big. I'm sure I got a size four. But yeah, UK four. They look quite big, don't they? Okay, so these are just some, they are leather. They were 89.99, so yeah, you'd expect them to be leather for that, wouldn't you? I just thought they would be so nice for like adding that masculine touch to an outfit. You know when you've got a really really girly dress on and you just want to make it look a bit more masculine with something like this and a leather jacket. Um, I loved it, I loved the fact they had these studs all the way down so like a bit different. I'm not sure if I like the fact from the side that they stick out a bit. I think they look a little bit weird but um, I will try those on and hopefully they look nice on. I also quite like the fact they've got a bit of a chunky heel so Although, although they're completely flat, they've bit, got a bit chunk to them, so it gives you that extra inch that you sometimes need, doesn't it? So, unfortunately, I'm not loving these boots on as much as I hoped I would. I just think they look quite big and clumpy and just not overly flattering. But I think maybe I need to try them on with an outfit before I make up my mind on them. Okay, on to another bag. I saw there were so many lovely bags on the Zara website. I just kept seeing them and I couldn't decide between loads of them. But I really, really love this one, and I hope it's as nice in the flesh as it was. Yeah, that is nice. <laughs> that didn't sound very enthusiastic, did it? Yeah. It's because I wasn't expecting this to be like a brushed gold, I don't know why. It's, what does it say? Suede and cow split. Yeah, so I think it's leather. Suede and cow split products can leave marks on clothing. So, I think it's leather. This is definitely suede on the top. Um, I just really like the khaki. I'm really loving khaki at the moment in clothes. And it's got a second flap. And obviously it's got a top handle um, on it and then a crossbody strap as well. Yeah, I like that. I think, anyway. I think I like it. I think I do. I'm going to try it on and then, and then see how it looks with an outfit. Um, I'm just not sure on this brushed gold. It's kind of like a real like pale shiny gold I'm a bit unsure about but I love this the suede is gorgeous and it looks looks more expensive than 40 pounds I think 
Um, but yeah, we'll get the plastic off and try that one on. So I've just turned the brightness up a little bit so you can see this bag a little bit better. Um, it probably looks slightly lighter on camera now though than it actually is. But I really like it. Um, now I've taken the uh, plastic off and got the little strap on. It's um, really, really nice length. I stand back here. It's, it's quite cute. It's kind of like, you definitely have it on one shoulder. I don't think you'd put it across body because I think it would come up quite short if it's like that. Um, I'm five foot six, seven on a good day. Uh, but I do really like it. I think it makes a nice change. I haven't got any khaki bags in my wardrobe at the moment. So this is a nice addition to my wardrobe. And yeah, the strap is lovely. It's got kind of like a sort of double layer on it. It kind of goes up to there and then splits in half. It just feels really, really nice quality. So I like this. I'm impressed. Okay, the next thing is another pair of boots, I can see, in a dust bag again. So let's get these out. Um, oh yeah, they're nice. See, these ones were cheaper than the other ones, so these actually aren't real leather. And you can sort of tell, they do feel a little bit rubbery. But they were only £30, so they're a real um, kind of one-year piece, I think. Um, but I tend to get a new pair of Chelsea bo boots every year, or Chelsea style boots. And I really love the studs on these ones that made them just that little bit different. Um, nice and fitted around the ankle, which is always nice. And then they go up at the back with these studs going all the way around them. And yeah, again, they seem to look quite big for a size 4. But I will try them on. But yeah, I really like those. They seem nice. Nice square toe, so not too pointy, because sometimes they can go a little bit too pointy at the end. Um, yeah, overall they look like a really nice little ankle boot. I like those, and for £30 you can't really go wrong, as long as they feel comfortable, they'd be a good little find. Okay, on first impressions these feel a little bit stiff, but maybe they just need wearing in. Also, I've noticed one of the studs on the back is missing, which may mean they could fall off quite easily, which is annoying, but I guess they were cheap. They are quite generous with their sizings, as I am in a size 4, and I usually go between a size 4 and a 5. Okay, this one's a real random one. And I don't know whether or not I'm going to be keeping it. I just saw it online and thought, that's either gorgeous or foul. Um, I'll let you be the judge. Well, I need to be the judge as well, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. What have I done? Um, okay, so, I mean, you can see it's basically a fur, pink, nudie pink um, backpack slash rucksack. Um, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. I, d I just don't know. I don't think I like it. I don't think. I'm never going to wear something like that, am I? What was I even thinking? I'm, ne I'm really never going to wear a fur backpack. I've already actually got a backpack in this similarish colour, but leather. So I don't know why I thought I'd need one in fur as well. But I think I just saw it online and thought, that's either, like, like I said, it's either really awesome or weird and I think in the flesh it's a little weird I think it's the sort of thing it could be from Zara or it could be from Primark um, and yeah it was 29 99 as well so not cheap cheap really 30 pounds for a sort of statement piece really that you're probably only gonna wear a few times um, yeah I'll try it on but I don't think I'm gonna keep that one I'm not too sure about that one Oh dear, please don't laugh. It looks ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, I would never wear it with this top. It looks ridiculous with this top. But yeah, it's really small actually. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. And it's just a massive no. I am never gonna wear a pink fur rucksack. I don't really know what I was thinking, to be honest. Um, yeah. I mean, if, if you're in the market for a pink fur rucksack, then here you go, it is a nice one, but it's just not for me. It's just, yeah, oh, there's a, there's a strap inside. What does that go? That must be for if you decide to carry it. Oh, okay, so it's got another strap in case you want to carry it as like a crossbody one, but again, I won't be doing that. I'm not gonna keep this one. It's, uh, it's lovely for the right person, but just not for me. I think I was just having a moment of madness when I ordered that. I think maybe I thought I was like 18 again. Okay, and this last item is another pair of boots. And again, I can see on the side what they are. 
I loved these when I saw them online. I just thought they were so cool and really like designer-esque. Um, so let's see what they look like in the flesh. They're all packaged up. Okay, so. Oh, they're velvet. I don't think I knew that they were gonna be velvet. I thought they were gonna be like suede look, but that is definite velvet. Um, they are pretty cool. Okay, let me get the black padding out so we can see, because otherwise it covers up the laces. So, I can zip them up as well. Yeah, I like them, I think. Okay, so they're these um, little ankle boots with a decent size heel, so probably more for like a night out or like out for dinner or something. But they have got crisscrosses going all the way down and that is what sold it for me. I literally just loved that style. I loved the crisscrossy style. I just thought it looked really kind of um, on trend. And they were 39.99, so again, it's quite reasonable for a pair of Zara boots. And yeah, I really loved them. Again, they've got a mark on them. What's going on with all these marks on everything, Zara? Um, but yeah, I really like those. I love the little laces with the little gold bit at the end, the little um, zipper on the side in gold. Um, yeah, they're nice. I know they are velvet, but they're not like that shimmery crushed velvet, like the cushions in the background. They're not that sort of velvet, so we're all good. They don't look like, when you've got them on, they probably just look like suede look or even, even leather. You can't really tell, can you? But yeah, I like those, so let's, let's give them a whirl as well. I am absolutely loving these boots on. I think they look really flattering and totally different to any of the other boots I have in my wardrobe. They are also surprisingly comfortable considering the height of the heel and I can see myself getting a lot of wear out of them throughout the colder months. These are definitely keepers. So that is everything from my Zara accessories haul. I am surrounded by tissue and boxes and paper and I just want to get everything packed away and clean up. But thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to check out my Zara clothes haul, which I will link below if you'd like to watch that as well, because there were a lot, a lot of really nice things in there. So go and check that out. Um, yeah, that is everything. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you did enjoy it, because I will have plenty more videos. I am getting on a roll with this uploading. So I am... Um, I'm doing good, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in my next video. Goodbye!